opening up there. It goes to another tunnel. More coordinates, I should have known. Another cairn. Hilda? Uh-oh, I'm getting predictable. This really will be our last conversation. Oh, I hope not. I'd really like to meet you. I'm afraid that's not going to happen. So, here you are in the whole stretch. What if I told you that I'm not going to do anything else until you tell me why this is so important to you? Okay, look. When I made my exit from Snake Horse Harbor, I left everything behind. You know, to kind of prove that I'd lost all my marbles. Problem is, I left behind something that I realize now I should have taken with me. My notebook on Benjamin Hawkins. Someone has obviously found it and is misusing it. See, my husband and I explored every inch of land in, around, and under Snake Horse Harbor. What we discovered, and we discovered everything, we wrote down in that notebook. So this fishy thing that's going on, you feel like it's your fault. Precisely. So, use what I just gave you and take a look at the boat and the bottle that Andy has. A really good look. When the time comes, you'll know what to do with what you see. One more thing. Why do you want everyone to think you're crazy when you're obviously not? Oh, Nancy. After my husband died, I just got bored. I love the sad ones, but the people of Snake Horse Harbor, I got tired of them. So I moved across the channel, and to make sure people left me alone... You pretended to be nuts. But then I got to thinking that it might be a good idea to make contact with someone trustworthy, just in case. Hence the messages in the bottles. Now, get going before it's too late. And what I just told you, keep it to yourself, okay? Sure. So you won't be calling me anymore? No. This, as they say in the business, is a wrap. Well, I've enjoyed knowing you. And I you. Thank you, man. Goodbye, Hilda.
Maritime Library. This is Casey. Hi, this is Nancy Drew. Any luck finding what shipwreck that piece of driftwood came from? Sorry, can't talk now. I'm waiting for a real important call from Nancy Drew. Casey, that's me. I'm Nancy Drew. Oh, then I got some good news. You know the name of the shipwreck? The SS Whitechapel Dawn. Sank five years ago right there in the channel outside Snake Horse Harbor. About a mile and a half due northwest of the lighthouse. Really? I hear that channel up there's been pretty busy, what with that orphaned whale messing things up for the fishermen and all. Anyway, everything fits except one thing. Uh-oh. The Whitechapel Dawn went down in deep water. Real deep water. Too deep for currents to be carrying debris up from it. Just not possible. What about volcanic activity? Maybe it sank on top of an undersea vent or something. I've been doing this type of research for 20 years, young lady. When I say something's not possible, it's not possible. Yet somehow a piece of wood from it washed ashore. What kind of ship was the Whitechapel Dawn? It was just a regular old freighter bound for San Francisco from Vancouver, British Columbia. Nothing unusual about it if you don't count the rumors. What rumors? About the smuggling. The ship was smuggling something? After it sank, some crew members said there was something unusual about the cargo it had been carrying. That's all. No specifics. Just rumors. How many people went down with the ship? Zero. Everybody managed to survive. Official cause was foul weather. But whenever a boat goes down in those parts, they always unofficially blame it on... Oh, what do they call that sea serpent up there? Caddy? No, thanks. Caddy! That's what they call it! Caddy! Anyway, this has been fun, young lady, but I need to get back to work. Uh, by the way, I just got done emailing you something. What? I said, I just got done emailing you something. Great, thanks. Well, goodbye, Casey. Goodbye, Caddy. I certainly hope he doesn't operate heavy machinery. What's up? See you in a bit. Have fun. Where's all this water coming from? Oh, ugh. What's up? See you in a bit. Be careful out there. cannot be completed as dialed. Please check the number and dial again. This is a recording. Wow. 
That's a beauty. There are some kind of symbols on those sails. Hi, Nancy. Someone broke into the hot kettle today. No kidding. Wow, that's the third one this week. Apparently all they took was food and boat parts. Sounds a lot like those two other burglaries. That boat in a bottle you have is fascinating. It was made by one of the first non-Native Americans to settle here. A guy named Benjamin Hawkins. I bought it from this lady who kinda went bonkers after her husband died. You mean Hilda Swenson? That's the one. Gave away everything she owned, moved to this tiny island across the channel, and went certifiably nuts. Which is too bad. She was a nice lady. Thanks for your time. Whales rule! in the sea caves. What's up? See you in a bit. Have fun. Hello? Hi, Frank. It's Nancy. Hey! Joe, lock her up and then get to a phone. It's Nancy. He's locking someone up? Goldie, she's not a someone. She's a something. Hey, Nancy. How's life in the Pacific Northwest? Well, someone ransacked Katie's boat just before I arrived. Wow, that's great. I knew you were going to say that. She's got a mystery to solve. She's supposed to be on vacation? Crime never takes a vacation, Frank. Let me guess. That was Goldie. Bingo. She's this dog we found. We're waiting for her owner to come get her. That's nice of you guys. Well, unfortunately, there's a problem. She eats a lot and she's not housebroken. She's as big as an SUV. Fully loaded. She's in the garage. I'm upstairs. That's how big her bark is, so you can imagine how big she is. Was there a reward out for her? That's the good news. We're talking triple digits. Wow! Enough about us. Let's hear what you've been up to, Nancy. To get around on the water in Katie's kayak, I've been using a GPS. A global positioning system? Cool! If you have the coordinates for a specific place, you just enter them and it shows up on the display screen, right? That's right. In fact, I did just that and found a box someone buried on this secluded beach. You found a geocache. I hear that using GPS units to track down stuff that other people have hidden is a hobby for some people. That sounds cool. Sure does. In fact, a GPS would make a great gift, don't you think, Nancy? For, like, say, a big brother to give his little brother for, like, 
say, his upcoming birthday? That probably depends on the big brother. And on what the little brother has done for him lately. Always a catch. Talk to you later. Call us any time. Yeah, it's a pretty sure bet we'll be here. container just like this one. Firestone! Those must belong to Katie. We're bored silly here, so we thought we'd give you a call. What's going on? Great timing, you guys. You will not believe what I just discovered. But what? Tell us. For one thing, that orca that's been causing all the trouble around here, it's not wild at all. It's been trained. How do you know? Because I played fetch with it. I'd toss something into the water, and it would use its head to kind of bonk it back to me. Maybe it just picked that up on its own. No, see, I found this hidden sea cave, and in it was this harness-type thing like the military uses on the orcas that it trains. So what do you think it's been trained for? In the cave, there were also some cargo containers. They were from the White Chapel Dawn. You think somebody trained the orca to retrieve containers from that shipwreck? Casey the Librarian did say the ship could have been smuggling something, and people don't usually bother smuggling something unless it's valuable. Who trained it? That's what I want to know. Well, in that hidden sea cave, I came across something else. What? A pair of work gloves. They had Katie's name on them. Oh my gosh! Katie's behind all this? Not necessarily. Those gloves may have been stolen from her. Have you asked her about them? Not yet. I'm on my way to do that right now. Well, get going and let us know what she says as soon as she says it. I will. Katie's gone! You again? I need a favor. I need you to take me out on your boat. Right now? What for? Well, it's a long story, but Katie Firestone may or may not be involved in something illegal. I'm not taking my boat out now. It's almost dark. Just call the Coast Guard. I can't. Not until I know for sure what's going on. I can explain on the way. Look, I'm not going anywhere. And if you know what's good for you, neither are you. Just forget it. I heard everything you told Holt. Believe me, there's nothing I'd like better than to help you get the goods on Ms. High and Mighty. But I got a cafe to run. Try Andy Jason.